take six music with you. Listen live on the BBC Sounds app. This is BBC Radio. Six music right now. Radio 6 Music. It's true, I am Mark Riley, flying the flag for Riley and Co on this Monday night in June. Flying the flag for the genius that was Tim Smith, however. Tim Smith Spratley's live in session with two songs, You Don't Ail, Flash the Sea to Steam, and First, Vine. The council says it's investigating and has alerted the police. The school says staff were suitably trained and it has an excellent reputation. The Department for Education says all pupils have been removed from the school. And the Panorama investigation is available now on BBC iPlayer. The Reform UK leader Nigel Farage has launched his party.
Nothing short of magnificent. That was Tim Smith Spratley's with Don't You Ale, Flash the Sea to Steam. And before that, you heard Vine. And before Vine, you heard me getting it wrong. So I will start with an apology, um, Spratley's. And Joe, hello, Joe. Hello, Mr. Riley. Hello. Uh, listen, I'm sorry. There's some fader sorry. malfunction in here and brain malfunction. Um, <laughs> and so we heard something else firing from some other studio or other. But we will try and fix that for Listen Again, and we have got a proper clean feed of it. So uh, just uh, apologies for that, Joe. That's quite all right. Well, it's not really. Um, OK, <laughs> before we actually start the conversation now, because there are two sessions coming up, we'll explain exactly what's going on. For those who aren't au fait with the genius of Cardiacs, formed 1977, continued to the June of 2008 when band leader, genius, maverick, all that, Tim Smith, was taken ill and Tim died in the July of 2020. OK, so that's for people who aren't aware of uh, Cardiacs history. So, um, Joe, if you would like to introduce Spratley's for us, please. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, yes. So to my right is Jesse, Jesse Cutts on bass. Then we have um, an ailing <laughs> Etienne Rhodes. He's got a nasty cold, poor soul. On guitars, um, I'm here. And then we have Adrienne on keys and the beautiful Stephen Gilchrist on the drums. Oh, stuffy. Oh, yeah. I'm 200 miles away from Stuffy. That's never a good thing. Well, it is for Stuffy, oh. but it's not for me. Um, OK, so, um, Joe, you did come and do a session for us previously in the February of 2019, I think it was. Um, but would you like to explain the history of Spratley's? Because it's a band formed by yourself and Tim Smith of Cardiacs. OK. Um, well, we put it together, uh, just started playing stuff in... When was it? Oh, my God. 1997 um and oh, it's just really difficult to kind of <laughs> yeah i can imagine. we just started we just started um he just went away one day and i think he he used to hear me singing along to things and i used to sing along to adverts on the telly and one day he just kind of i think we were hung over after the pub and uh he said I'm going to write an album and we're going to do a band. And um, he just kind of went off for a couple of weeks to his mum's, um, to his studio, and then came back with this whole manuscript of stuff. And he'd recorded a whole load of stuff and he took me down there <clears throat> and played it to me and we got, got singing on it and got all the singing done really, really quickly. The whole thing, I think, was done in about sort of couple of months or something um and then it went out and um obviously then there wasn't the amazing online presence that there is now yeah um and i think he did it through the kind of um cardiacs mailing list just literally by um post we got in touch with people um just wrote to them with a kind of letter saying there's this new project out and um would they want to buy it and about 400 people bought it over the um, course of, I don't know, a few months or whatever. Um, so, yeah, and then it never got played live, unfortunately. Um, Tim always wanted to do it live. He really wanted to play bass. That was the thing. Right. Um, obviously, on the original, well, on the album, um, Pony and Hazel, there's an EP, um, he sings a lot on it. And his main thing about it, uh that song that we've uh, that song that we've just played he he said that he could never learn that bass line right. <laughs> and play it live but his main thing was um just the fact that he was worried about singing bass and um, singing and playing at the same time and he was many things stuff. but he wasn't sting was he huh he was many things tim but he wasn't sting no <laughs> <laughs> you got there eventually. <laughs> I mean, the thing about the thing about we know Cardiac's that audience are so so devoted. So it doesn't surprise me at all that it took off, and the music itself was, of course, brilliant as well. And um, so, would you like to explain exactly what uh, "Sing to Tim" is all about, the concept and how it began? Well, as we all know, well, not everybody in the world, but you know, um, Tim passed away after a long, long illness. Mm. Um, it, so he passed away in 2020. And um, 
we all know what was happening then as well. Everybody was in lockdown and all that kind of stuff. So we wanted to put something together. Vic and I were talking about it at home and we, we had a first attempt for obvious reasons it didn't work out and then we tried again in 2021 there were other reasons then that it wasn't quite right we couldn't couldn't quite get it together um anyway finally jumping forward to now um you know it's almost good to be honest with you that there's been a bit of distance um because this is happening it's kind of i think everyone is in a much more celebratory mood about it uh so yeah it's just um Cardiac's family members and past members and, you know, beautiful people have come together with Spratleys and we've put on this show. We had three sold out shows, um, two in the garage in London and then one in the beautiful Brudenell in Leeds. Yeah. Um, yeah, just to celebrate the life of Tim. And then obviously also we lost tim kwai yeah. in the in the interim um as well so yeah all- it's an emotionally driven um project isn't it this you know i mean even doing this tonight and thinking about you know the last time that cardiacs played together was actually for us and i'll talk to jim about that a little bit later on but you just mentioned there the shows that you've done you've got some more coming up now with the same lineup which will be tim smith spratley's and also cardiacs family and friends so the 10th of october in manchester at the band on the wall the 11th glasgow swg3 the 12th will be in the castle the grove and the 13th brighton concord 2 that that's a long drive on the 12th to the 13th. Just pointing it out, you'll have to get up early. Newcastle to Brighton, that's a whopper. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it overnight. Well, yeah, but I tell you what, I mean, just so wonderful. And again, apologies for uh, my fat fingers and just going in the wrong space, but we'll uh, we'll try and remedy that as best as we can for lis- uh, listening again. Uh, but it was amazing. So thank you, Joe, and thank you to the whole band. And lest we forget, we have got Cardiacs, family and friends coming up before too long. So uh, thank you, you lot. You're great. <laughs> Oh, thank you. All right, take care. <laughs> See you in Manchester then. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'll put you on the... <laughs> thank you. All right then, take care you lot. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Um, so now uh, this is uh, brand new from Jonah's Policewoman. It's called Long for in Salford, whilst in London, made of ale to be exact. We've got Cardiac's family and friends. Hello guys and girls. Oh, hello. 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 Um, Jim? Hi, I'm here. Hello, mate. Yeah, good job, eh, really? Um, and so, I mean, we've already <laughs> kind of set on. the scene. We're all doing that, mate. Um, so we've, all, we've just set the scene with Spratleys before uh, about uh, what happened and the, and the turn of events and the awful turn of events. But uh, before we get to anything else, would you like to just introduce the band? Because they are all legends, obviously, but some legends featuring the uh, Cardiac's previous DNA. OK. Uh, well, there's me. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Leith on drums, Craig Fortnum on uh, percussion today, Adrian Rhodes doing a double shift, he's uh, playing keys for us, uh, got Chloe Harrington, uh, she's uh, playing the saxophone, Mark Coulter on vocals today, Ooh. and uh, Vic Hayes and the lovely John Paul on guitars and vocals. Just, hello. Yeah, hello, everybody. Um, well, like I say, just so great to have you in playing with us. And um, so, mate. you know, it was, um, it's just, um, it is an emotional night, really. I have to say that because it's so sad to think of the fact that the last time Cardiacs played together was actually um, in session for us in 2008. Yeah. And so, you know, and we've played that session on many, many occasions. And for those who don't know, and like, like I say, if anybody's just joined us now, and then Tim did suffer a heart attack and a stroke and the band never played with Tim again. Uh, but you're back. I mean, the love for Cardiacs, I mean, it's, it's almost unprecedented. They are one of those bands that people quite often will love Cardiacs and not really like any other band at all. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of strange. But, um, yeah, it's, yeah, you're... I guess we're getting a bit more popular now, aren't we? Which is kind of good. Well, the fans, the, the cardiac army are just the, the amongst the, the most feverish, the most feverish in the world. We just established that with you uh, talking to Joe about Spatleys as well. And so, yeah. um, how did it feel to kind of get the gang back together again after all that time? Funnily enough, all the time Tim was ill, I never actually envisaged ever playing with Cardiacs again because it just didn't seem right without him there. And uh, Bick and Joe came up with a couple of um, 
previous ones, which I sort of half-heartedly said, yeah, I'll do that. And uh, then in the end, for this little session outing, um, me and John actually had a chat together. We both said, well, we've both been sort of putting it off, putting it off. But this time it just felt right and we just thought it just deserved to be out there and played live. So that's how it all got together and this is why we're doing it. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're doing the word. It. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a wonderful thing that you're doing, and it is all just by way of tribute to your brother as well, which is just the most perfect thing. And so yeah. um, we were talking yesterday, Jim, actually, about the, the LSD um, album. and, oh, and the unfinished so, album. Yeah, so well, could you explain exactly what's been, been going on with that and where you're up to with it? I can't tell you too much about it because, to be honest with you, I've got no dates or firm information about it at all, really. But it's kind of nearly done, and it's in mix at the moment, but it's all a bit slow and whatever. I'm hoping to get it out maybe April or something next year. Right, OK. I mean, so, I mean, we were discussing this, and so a lot of the groundwork was laid down um, with Tim, Obviously, yeah. you know, um, and, and, and obviously then things just went a different direction, sadly. And so you've yeah. got kind of a lot of the groundwork there and you're just kind of building on it and, and, and turn it into a cardiac record, basically. Well, yeah, a lot of... I mean, everyone who's here really has worked with it on, with Tim. Craig did a lot of work with it with Tim while he was in... Um, uh, when he was ill and uh, he was bouncing back and forth with that and making sure everything was more or less what he wanted it to sound like, really. Yeah. So it is kind of his vision and his project, and we tried our best to make it as accurate to that as we could. I'm sure it will be, I'm sure it will be brilliant, Jim, absolutely. And when you're playing, like, the two gigs that we've mentioned before and the, and the ones coming up already mentioned, um, yeah. does it feel quite strange for you on stage not having your brother shouting at you? Uh, it's, it's quite a relief, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't mean that in a nasty way, but yeah. No, I know. Uh, I mean, just the the, the sessions that you no, did. You, it, you... It, 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 we miss the old fella. Yeah, of course we do. We all do. Um, okay, so um, were, you, were you kind of like taken aback, really, by the the reaction to um, when when Tim was taken out of the frame? Because, like I say, it was just kind of it just it was a real sweep of emotion uh, and, and and so heartfelt at the time. Yeah, it was amazing. I just couldn't. Yeah, brilliant. Right. Okay. That's all I can say about it, really. So yeah, yeah. Real, like you say, it was a real swell of emotion about it all. Yeah. And it's kind of driven on from there, really. So. Yeah. Well, you use, word, you use the word silly driven. Silly old missing it all now, isn't he? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate. Um, OK, so um, we've mentioned the gigs that you're doing with Cardiac Family and Friends and Tim Smith Spratley's. Um, but you're going to do two songs for us now, then, two classics. So what are you going to do and in what order? Right, we're going to start off with The Duck and Roger the Horse and follow it up with Big Ship. Brilliant, OK. Cardiacs, family and friends. Thank you. Right. Dad, I must look a treat and look my best so I tell him... i 
So make me one Your horsey skin won't make the song Your voice is left disarming Horse get around
Seriously, nothing short of magnificent. Cardiacs live in session, the duck and Roger the horse, followed by Big Ship. Um, thank you so much for coming in, you lot. Um, I need to say once again, sing, uh, sing to Tim, Cardiac's family and friends, ce- celebrate the life and work of Tim Smith. We are looking at the 10th of October in Manchester at the Band on the Wall, the 11th, Glasgow SWG3, Newcastle on the 12th at the Grove, and then Brighton Concord 2 on the 13th of October. Uh, I need to say also thanks so much, not only to Cardiac's and to Spatley's, but also to Ian Painter, Clive Painter and Dan Roberts uh, for putting everything together tonight. Uh, and uh, yeah, just thank you so much for the, all of you uh, coming in. You, you're great. Hey, oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. It sounded like you didn't agree with me then, but I think oh, you're no, great. No, no. <laughs> Took us by surprise. Took us by surprise. Yeah. <laughs> That's my job, one way or the other. Um, all right, you take care, you lot. <laughs> thank you. You bye. too. Thank take you very care. much. Thanks so much. Oh, Bye-bye. Love. Bye, everybody. Bye. Lots of love. Six 